Are you gonna help Palmer? Are you gonna help open the boxes? Get it, Palmer. Get it. Get it, Palmer. Get it, Palmer. Yeah, get it. Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Today I'm out here in the fish room with Palmer and it's really exciting because my new backgrounds from Aqua Decor Backgrounds just got here. If you guys haven't heard of them yet, I definitely recommend checking them out because when I saw them, I knew that I had to have them in the tanks that I was planning for this fish room because there's nothing else that really compares that I have seen. So these are the backgrounds that are gonna go in my 120 gallon tanks from Custom Aquariums that are gonna go on the rack behind me here. So these aquariums have been sitting here waiting for, well, since the end of December, I think now. So it's been a really long time in the works waiting for these backgrounds, but I think they're gonna be worth the wait. I think they're gonna be absolutely amazing, but even more than that, I'm excited to finally set up these aquariums. It's been way too long. I really didn't plan very well when I was getting these because I didn't know how long it was gonna take to have these custom backgrounds made, so that was uh, bad planning on my part, I guess. But I've never done anything like this before in my defense, so I'm kind of just doing the best I can. <laughs> One way or another, everything's gonna come together in the end, and it's gonna be awesome. I also got three backgrounds for my reptile and amphibian enclosures that are gonna go on that rack back there. So I'll be able to finish setting up all of my reptile and amphibian enclosures, and also finally set up all of my goldfish tanks and get my goldfish moved into this rack here. And I am so excited for them to finally be on here. I really feel like I'm gonna be able to enjoy my goldfish a lot better and you guys will as well. I'll be able to start making more videos about them because you guys, it's just no fun making videos about goldfish when they're stuck in this dark tub and you guys can barely see them or even really be able to appreciate how adorable they are. Like, just look at this. They're gonna be amazing when we finally have them in a beautiful aquarium with a nice background. I also want to show you guys my new merch. I got a new merch design. This is from an artist called Serena Delabana. I love her work. She's based in Italy and she makes the most amazing, I think this is watercolor paintings. She must have seen my videos because I saw this artwork floating around. I think it was on either Facebook or Instagram or maybe she even sent it to me. I can't remember because it's been a few years now, I think, since she made this particular artwork. And I really thought it was cool at the time. And I've been kicking around this idea of making some merch with her artwork so I contacted her about it she was all for it so she let me use her artwork in some merch designs so I have this t-shirt available that I'm wearing right now and also on my teespring page there are tank tops hoodies mugs posters stickers and other stuff too so go check that out you guys the link will be down in the description section down below so let's open these boxes I almost don't want to open it because I've been waiting for this for so long that it's like surreal I'm sure you guys know the feeling because you've been waiting right along with me. Wow, this thing is really wrapped. Oh yeah, I can already see a fake tree stump. This is stunning. This is really, really beautiful. And I even like kind of knew what to expect because I've seen these, obviously I've seen these in Joey's videos. And I follow Aqua Decor on Instagram, so I constantly see pictures of beautiful tanks with these backgrounds, but seeing it in person is just like, oh my gosh, I might cry. <laughs> and they're gonna go in the beautiful custom aquariums tanks. Like, this is unreal. My goldfish are going to have a palace. I didn't think I would be this surprised, but these are so beautiful. What? Like, is this real? Okay, this is insane. How do they make these? This is insane. This is like a work of art. Look at that detail. That's insane. You can even see like, okay, so this is supposed to be kind of like a muddy riverbank wall, I'm guessing, because it looks like, it looks like compacted mud. And then there are like tree roots sticking down into it. And you can kind of see like where they fade back into the mud, like especially with this little stick here. Look at that. It's like a little stick that's coming out through the mud and then it's out for a little ways and then it grows back into it. All the wood trunks have detailing in them so they actually look like real wood trunks. That's amazing. And there's all these little crevices for the fish to explore. If you have fish that like doing that kind of thing, my goldfish are probably just gonna be like derp derp, not care. Here's what the back looks like. 
So this actually is not um, a huge, you know, substantial piece of foam or anything. I don't know what material this is, but it's actually quite thin and all of the crevices and bumps and things sticking out are molded into it. So that's very cool. I like their little stamp that they put on there too. Yes, this is an official aqua decor background. <laughs> All right, we'll go with this box next. This box is calling to me. This looks like the background I got that has multiple different pieces that you kind of put together like a puzzle as you're siliconing them in place. I can already see this is gonna take a while. Whoa, look at that. So this one actually is a big substantial 3D chunk of foam. And on the back they have little circles where you're supposed to put the silicone. And then it's also numbered, so it looks like, I think that's supposed to be a number one, I think. And then it has two with an arrow and three with an arrow, so it shows you how to put the puzzle pieces together. Number two. All right, piece number four. Ooh, look at the subtle browns in there. Ouch, dang. I'm bleeding for the cause, you guys. I got all my puzzle pieces put together. Turns out there was two different backgrounds put together in the same box, so I got all the separate pieces separated and the two backgrounds put together, and they're amazing. This is the first one. It's kind of like a black and white slate kind of rock and it's absolutely amazing like there's different crevices that if you had small fish they could swim in there and kind of hide to get some shade and this one has i think it was three separate pieces to it there's this piece and then the piece in the middle and then this piece here on the end there's also this one which is similar but it has different color tones in it and different shapes to the rocks this one is four separate pieces and again a lot of these rocks jut out pretty far they could create really really interesting different areas of habitat for different types of small fish so there's this piece this piece this piece and that piece. I got scratches on all of my knuckles from opening these. These are actually pretty rough, so if you get some, be careful when you're opening them because I scratched myself all up. But I don't even care because these are so amazing and oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. I cannot believe that my aquariums are gonna look this amazing. I, It seems like too nice, you know what I mean? But it's going to be so, so awesome and I can't wait. Let's open the remaining four. Here's the first one. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh my gosh. This one is similar to the other one with the tree trunks, but it's a little more simple. So the tree trunks are larger, they take up more space, and then there's a little bit less going on with the rest of the background. I kind of like, I like that I have one that's a little more complicated and one that's a little more simple because I love them both. <laughs> so it's perfect. Well, this is the last of the four aquarium backgrounds and then the three terrarium backgrounds are still in this box. First, this is the shortest one, so I can already tell this is the one for Sylvia's tank, my leopard gecko. All right. Sylvia's new background, nice and simple. And then the next one is for, oh my God, this one's heavy. Wow, okay, really heavy. Another uh, fake tree stump type background. And this is gonna be for the dark frog vivarium that's gonna be right next to the one that I just completed. That's gonna have a different type of poison dart frogs in it. So it's gonna be set up much the same way. crazy. It kind of like doubles back on itself, the material does, 
several times to create the depth of the tree of the tree trunk here. So that's why it's so heavy. Look at all, like there's a little hidey hole back here that you can't even see from the front because this juts out sideways to cover it. That's amazing. And see what I mean by like the material kind of doubles back on itself several times to create the depth of those tree trunks. Look at that. That's intense. That's gonna look amazing with some frogs in there. Holy crap, that's gonna be like legitimately like a zoo exhibit. And then lastly, we have this one, which is bigger, but thankfully it's a bit lighter than that last one. I think this one is also a fake tree stump looking thing. And this is gonna go in one of my taller vivariums that's on the top of that reptile and amphibian rack. I can't believe these are real. Well, they're not real. <laughs> But that's the point. Can't believe this. This is beautiful. And it's just gonna make the tanks look that much more amazing. I'm gonna cry. I know they're just backgrounds, but like, they're so beautiful. And I'm surrounded by seven of the most beautiful things possibly that have ever been created for the aquarium hobby. So behind me there, you can see the two fake rock backgrounds. I just have them propped up just to show you guys what they're gonna look like. I don't know yet quite where I'm gonna put them. I'll probably put that one there where it is, but then this one I'll probably put up higher. And then um, down below, here are the two tree stump backgrounds. They're just so amazing. I love these. And then over here, I've got my leopard gecko tank background. That's gonna be the tank for Sylvia. That's gonna look amazing. That looks, look at how real that looks. That's crazy. And then over here, I've got my dart frog tank background, and then the taller one, which I still don't know quite exactly which animal I'm gonna put in there. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed right now in the best way possible. This is amazing. I can't thank Aqua Decor enough for sending me these seven backgrounds. Such an awesome thing for them to do for my channel and for these videos, and so you guys can see some beautiful tanks in, in my videos. And uh, I just can't wait to set up these aquariums now. It's gonna be so exciting. It's been a really long time, you know, waiting for this moment. So it's really cool. It's so surreal. Chris and I are gonna work on getting these backgrounds siliconed into the tanks. So I'll film all of that for a separate video or for separate videos. And uh, just a little sneak peek. Here's all of my silicone that I have for siliconing these into the backs of the tanks. This is GE Silicone One Window and Door. This stuff is like half the price of actual aquarium silicone, but it is perfectly fish safe. So it's a really good alternative if you're ever wondering what to use. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link in the description section down below for my new merch. Super cute merch. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, and until then, stay gold.